Hey, good evening. Not morning, not morning coffee. Evening. Have I had coffee today? I have had lots and lots of coffee today. Uh, four. I've had four. Two big ones. Oh, the peanut gallery's laughing at my four coffees today. You didn't have a panic attack? No, I'm fine. I wish the caffeine, it probably focused me for God's sake. Because, you know, I've never been diagnosed with ADHD, but there are days when I relate. I relate a lot. So today's one of those days. Um, I have obligated myself to upload a video for you guys today, which is why I am making this this late. What I'm going to talk about is my progress on the Arne and Carlos hat. If you will recall, oh, I didn't get my other one out. Um, here is my progress. I'm on the home stretch. I'm trying desperately to get it done because I keep saying to myself, then it'll be time for, um, unfinished objects videos to begin. I'll still do these, but I will be doing unfinished objects videos. I'm going to give you a preview tonight at this channel. And then I will put a link to the new channel below and then you can go see it because it will be a new channel. I'm only going to talk about unfinished objects and getting them done so that I will get them done. Maybe. <laughs> so here is the hat. I, it still looks like a hot mess. It folds up, but it folds up too far right here. And I'm going to fix that by stitching. And I've, I've done this hat before, and I really should show you this hat. I'm going to take a photo of my previous hat that I made out of this uh, Shetland design, and I'm going to put it right. I always go off to the side so I can do this. Have you noticed that? I'm going to put it right here instead of the painting that's behind me. I'm going to put my leaf hat that I did using the Shetland pattern. And I'll also put a link to the Shetland Museum where you can get, you can buy the pattern and it helps support the Shetland Museum. But so this is what's happening. I have a built-in brim. It's so hard to see right now. I have a built-in brim right here. You can see it right there. And then, then I did a short row and folded it. So I did a pearl row and then it folds, and then you do a short row, and then the rest of the hat, I just open this up, is, when finally I finish it, you'll be able to see it. So you do the short row so that your color work is wrong side out, but right side out when you fold your hat. And then I've done this much of the body of the hat. I am in the final stretch. There is one, this is the last section, and then I close for the crown. I've done two rows or one and a half rows of the white and red. So I've got that section to finish and then I get to close for the crown and this will be done and it is oh so much bigger than the first one, like about two and a half inches. So hopefully this will fit David's big head. That's the plan. I have a big head too, but I noticed that the hat is starting to grow a little bit. I tried it on again today and it feels even looser. Maybe I've lost weight in my head. Do you think? I don't think so. <laughs> if only. I did lose weight in my cheeks, but I don't think that's going to impact my hat size. What? Somewhere in the background. Why osteo... Is that what I sound... Loss of bone density. Loss... Oh, loss... Oh, so Grayson suggested maybe osteoporosis <laughs> is setting in in my head, my skull. Maybe. It's been a month. Maybe. All right, the next topic of conversation is the unfinished objects. And I have them here, and I'm going to flip this around and take you on a little um, preview of just one container of my unfinished projects. There are more. This is, I believe, the knitting and crochet container. And it's not all of it. It's just the ones that have risen to the surface as I open boxes in my hot mess of a sewing room that has made no progress. It's not changed since I last showed it to you. Nothing. We were too busy trying to stay warm. Yeah. I don't know if I'm cut out for home fix it, but maybe I'm not even cut out for moving in. I don't know what I'm thinking. Drama. Oh, look, vacuum cleaner. Isn't that a nice addition to my video? Sorry about that, guys. You're getting my vacuum cleaner. We, oh yes, we had a vacuum cleaner break. Now I have three vacuum cleaners in the house. One, this one, is supposed to live upstairs, but I had to bring it downstairs to vacuum because I could not take the filth on my carpets anymore. And then the broken one is sitting in the dining room and we need to somehow get rid of that. And then, um, actually, I think I'm gonna put it out. I should put it in Facebook Marketplace and say free 
if you're handy to fix it, I will give it to you. Because I think it just requires fixing. We're just tired of trying to fix it. It's got some good life in it, but um, I'm done. So we've replaced it with a new vacuum cleaner that has now been put away in the cupboard. At least it's put away. All right. Moving on to unfinished objects. Let me flip you around and I will show you my bucket of unfinished objects in poor lighting. At the top of our pile, we have the last thing I was doing when I moved. This is all the motifs for an Irish crochet doily, a big one, almost a tablecloth, that I just need to join together. So I need to put them um, on a piece of fabric and start the joining process. It's the scariest part. And I was just, when I was in California, I talked to the Lace Museum and they agree that that's the most daunting part. With my unfinished project, oh, no, this is unfinished too. There's no strap. <laughs> so this just needs a strap. It's an Irish crochet bag that is all complete except for the purse strap. So I need to make a purse strap for that. That just requires a piece of ribbon. Maybe I ought to do that. That would be easy to accomplish something, wouldn't it? Let's see what else is in here. I think the rest is just supplies and messy things. Uh, yarn. Yeah, I think that's, oh, another good hoop and silk thread. Yep, that's it. So those are two projects in this bag. All right, next down in the unfinished projects. Oh, this one's recent because I like this bag. Let's see what's in here. Oh, oh yes, more crochet. This is Tunisian crochet. I started this while Tony was with me over the summer. Hey, Tony, have you finished this uh, Tunisian shawl? I got bored with it because my count was off. I need to get back to that, though. All right, going deeper. Let's see what else we have in here. Let's see what that is. Uh, I don't know what that is. That is denim and blue fabric. Is this yours? I'm going to send this over to Grayson. It might be Grayson's unfinished object. Yes. Oh, it's Grayson's. Oh, my God. Huh? Grayson's unfinished object. We'll have to have Grayson on the show. All right, this. Okay, let's talk about this little unfinished object. This is a sewing unfinished object. Um, I cut this out for Grant when he was a newborn. <laughs> Almost 15 years old. He is 15, I think. <laughs> no, April. No, he'll be 15 in April. So this is a 15... This, I believe, is my oldest unfinished object. But I'll, I I re reserve... I want to be able to rescind that because it might not be in the someday. Now, the good news is, is Theo, if I got my crap together... You could pretend it wasn't for I Grant. could... Well, it's, all, it's got cowboys all over it. I don't, I don't think... It, there's a giveaway on that yeah. one. But if I got my act together, I could make this for Theo because I now have a grandson who is 14 years younger than the... This is just cut out. That's all I did is cut it out. The pieces are in here. I never sewed it together. It's brown and then I think it's cowboy fabric. Yep. Yeah, it's cowboy fabric. Okay, next up. Going deeper. <gasps> Grayson's. Oh my gosh, I feel so much better. It's strips. Yeah. Not mine. Oh, this is mine. That's not an unfinished object. That's just it's just strips. strips. This is mine. Um, during the first year of COVID, uh, some of the gals that, that I meet with in um, August every year for sewing, and I didn't get to go this year, we decided to exchange stars. And these are the stars that we exchanged, and I have done nothing with them. I think everybody else or some people have um, finished theirs. I have not. So there's that. That just, I could turn that into a table runner. It's awfully pink. I should find somebody that likes pink more than me. All right, next up in the bottomless pit. Just fabric, that's okay. Uh, oh, uh, this is a kit I bought. <laughs> That I haven't even started. Is it real? Is it technically an unfinished object when you haven't started it yet? This is a kit I bought somewhere at some thing. I thought it was really pretty. And of course, you know, orange and green. Haven't started it yet. All right. I reached the bottom of that tote. I had four or five unfinished objects that I could be finishing. 
go over to the new YouTube channel. I will put the link below and I will um, begin it tomorrow. So look for a video tomorrow. Um, I'm not going to go through all my unfinished, unfinished projects. I will eke that out over time. Um, at the unfinished objects channel, I will probably pull out a bundle, fix a bundle, put it down. Pull out a bundle, finish a bundle, put it down. And pick and choose what to finish. Clearly, at some point, I can think of one unfinished project I have that I just want to frog. It's a sweater and I really wasn't enjoying the knit, so I just need to rip it out and use the yarn for something else. And I will do that. It's going to be hard to rip out because it's um, alpaca something that's very mohair-y like, even though I don't think it's mohair. Anyway, that's all for me today. Progress on the hat. Getting ready to do the unfinished object dive. The reason I'm doing that is, is I need to get that room cleaned out. And as I do it, I'm surely going to find unfinished projects. So there will be getting rid of stuff, I am sure. Um, other than that, today has been spent getting ready to ship stuff off. Cheryl, shipment coming. Um, who else? I don't. There's other people on the list that bought stuff from the store. Um, so those will be coming. Kathy, you got something coming. But, um, and then I need to start using a heat gun to start taking the paint off my trim. That's going to be fun or not, as the case may be. But I have until the first weekend in April to get my living room and dining room finished. So I need to get on it and stop sitting on my laurels goofing off or taking off. So I'll be home for a while and I'll be working my little keister off. I hope you're happy and well and that it doesn't snow tomorrow for you. Supposedly it will for us again. I'll give you some film footage if it happens. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. If you do subscribe, ring the bell, and that way you won't miss any content. And leave me a comment. How many unfinished objects do you have? Do you like them? Or are they on, are they on uh, sitting in the corner because they've been naughty? Let me know. And I hey, I'll see you on Saturday. Bye.